Hi, it's Mr. Egg on Pattaya Beach, and I'm going to get straight into the topic of today's video. Has Pattaya started to attract a lot of a younger crowd, or is it still attracting, and I quote, sad old single men? I didn't say that, that's what my cameraman said. Is it somewhere where you're now getting a, a, a younger demographic it's interesting and this all started when uh, I got a correspondence from a friend of mine who comes to Patia maybe maybe five or six times a year just for ten days or so and he said all oh, the last time I came down for it, I noticed a lot of younger people were were there and I'm thinking is that is that really a thing I'm not sure and I did something I don't usually do I had to think about this and I thought long and hard and I thought do you know what there's one or two points that might be relevant so we're going to tackle that and you might wonder why am I down on the beach and what's going on in the background levitating teddy bears well this is the Patia International Kite Festival yes I'm down here pulling my kite string or chock wow that's that's what chock wow means to pull the kite to pull the kite string that's what it means uh, hope you enjoy the beautiful kites and let's investigate is Patia still good for us old kids. So I was doing something that I love doing. I was sitting all on my own in the laundry or the washeteria or whatever you call it, the laundromat. It's something I like to do. I wash my clothes, wash my underpants going round and round. And, and I usually go there, first of all, to wash my clothes. But secondly, because there was always some single women around uh, in, in the washeteria. And, and I was sitting there and there was this very, very attractive girl sitting on the table next to me. And I was just looking at her and I thought, well, you know, don't be too pervy, Phil. I know it's difficult, but just leave her alone. So I did. And then about five minutes later, she, she picked up all her washing and she was expecting a lift off her other half. And it was a young, maybe 21, 22 year old sort of Spanish looking guy, all muscly, you know, ripped muscles with the tattoos. And I wasn't feeling inferior whatsoever. All right, so I was. And I thought, you know what? I remember thinking at the time, 20 years ago, when I started first coming to Patia, that would never have happened. Younger people have never been here. We've all seen that meme, that internet picture of some, uh, somebody talk on the bus coming from Bangkok bus station into Patia. And it's a picture of just the tops of the heads of all the people sitting in front of them. And it's just all old, old, fat, bald guys you can see. So does that make us inferior? And I'm thinking, you know what? It would be interesting if there was any kind of statistics that you know we could look at to back this up and interestingly uh, Thailand did used to collect uh, the ages of people and publish for numbers of the ages the average age of the people that were coming in until the pandemic and then it suddenly changed and there was definitely a trend of younger people starting to come here to Southeast Asia why would that be? I think it's a dog. He's as high as a kite. <laughs> and the kites are very big here. And actually, high as a kite is one of the reasons I think <laughs> that there might be uh, an upsurge in younger people coming here. As you know, uh, during the pandemic, one of the things that happened was the decriminalization of cannabis, marijuana. And now if you come onto Walking Street or any of the entertainment areas where there are a lot of Westerners and tourists, there are green shops, as we call them, just about everywhere. And it's obviously something that will attract uh, a younger crowd. I know old people uh, consume that product as well uh, because it's got very good health issues. And I think everybody knows what side of the fence I'm sitting on on this particular argument. But uh, it's certainly something that will attract younger people hey it's great you know we can go to thailand and we can consume the product i think they probably don't put it like that so uh number one the decriminalization of the green is attracting younger people a 
And whilst we're on about the subject of younger people, it's interesting, isn't it, to see how many families uh, are here just on the beach at the moment. Yes, there's lovely, colourful kites, and that's obviously going to attract youngsters and, you know, the families out here. And there's definitely been a push by the Tourist Authority of Thailand to try and attract uh, families here. And you do see things that you never used to see 20 years ago, like um, families pushing baby strollers down Beach Road and stuff like that. And uh, I think it brings up a lot of issues, like, for example, um, you know, the fact that if you're on if you're in wheels in this town it's very very difficult to get around on the pavements and all sorts of things there are family friendly tourist attractions like the two big water parks here in Pattaya and uh, all the uh, a lot of the other attractions are geared towards families yes I know a lot of Thai people will go to those attractions but it does attract uh, a family audience from around the world as well and seeing families I personally have got no issue whatsoever with that but I know a lot of hold on sad single old men looking at you <laughs> don't, don't particularly like that what do you think is it good for families let us know in the comments down below but let's get back to the younger people the younger generations coming flooding here to Patia What are you thinking of the video so far? Rubbish. Rubbish. Oh, this is my canine friend here. Right, another reason why younger people might be coming. Social media, it's ballooned in the last 20 years or so. We never had Facebook, Instagram, X, um, and all these other places where we can talk. YouTube, what you're watching now. There would never have been uh, videos of this town publicly available for people. Um, even maybe 10 or 15 years ago now I'm sorry if this, uh, you're picking up a little bit of wind on the camera it is very very windy today which is always good for a kite but not very good for YouTube uh, so social media and obviously younger people consume this more and more and more than any other demographic and the younger people are looking at the wonderful country that Thailand is and it is fantastic no matter what people say the fact that it's got great weather it's very laid back and everything's easy and everything's very glamorous and there's beautiful women here and and I think that will attract more and more younger people that attract social media so don't blame me blame YouTube and everybody else social media bringing more and more younger people in to our lovely city so no I'm no I'm here I'm here no 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 I'm, I'm, I'm here will you stop honestly these I wish I hadn't hired a sad old single man to be my camera man. <laughs> Honestly, you just see some woman in a bikini and you go nuts. We're on a beach. There's a woman in a bikini in the background. Anyway, concentrate everyone. Focus, focus. The third point I want to talk about is working remotely. Now, this is connected, of course, to the internet. And uh, I was talking to a guy the other day. He was over here and he said, you know, it's great. I can come here to Pattaya now and I can work remotely. I'm working remotely from home at the moment. I can ask my boss if I can do that and it's fine. We're very blessed with the fact that we've got very, very quick and very, very cheap internet here. And if people are doing working remotely in their jobs, it's really quite easy to work here. Plus, there are people who are dealing currencies. There are people that are dealing um, Bitcoin and other um, electronic coins. And, and it's generally younger people that do that and that is why those kind of demographics of people are coming here I as you know I'm the boss of La Pub Patia uh, which is on uh, Soy Diamond I'm getting hit by a I'm, I'm getting booted I'm getting booted off my own channel here uh, and uh, as you know next door to us there is a bar called Casino Casino is a very very popular bar for younger people and I see these people all the time and I do sometimes ask them what are you doing? And they say, oh, we're doing currency exchange and, uh, you know, I'm doing Bitcoin and stuff like that. So interesting, interesting. But what does this mean for us? Sad old single men. Let's have a look. Oh, let's have a look over to your right. Honestly. Honestly. <laughs> Pervy old men. 
I hope she's got some Factor 50 on, she'll get terrible sunburn. So, what does this mean to me and you? Is it worthwhile doing like a friend of mine has done and trying to look younger? Uh, somebody I know has recently had plastic surgery and uh, ironically, plastic surgery is one of the things that is a lot cheaper over here. And one thing I've just thought of as well, youngsters who need dental work doing, dental work is incredibly cheap compared to the United Kingdom and other places in Europe and America. So. What about us? What about us sad old gits? Is it bad news? Well, no, not really. I was talking to a Thai girl today, and she's, uh, not today, recently, and she said, um, how old are you, Phil? And I told her, I'm 57 next month, and she says, don't worry, Thai ladies like the older man. And uh, of course, she might just have been stroking my ego, but what she said in her Thai was that they're more stable, younger people, uh, the uh, younger Thai guys and younger tourists that come here um, they're more fly by night they tend to be less polite and they also to be honest haven't got as much money as us old, older sad old single men so there's nothing really to worry about I would say it's always good and I always say this in every video now always dress respectfully be respectful to the girls and you should be fine yes the girls will always get excited when they see a young boy going past the bar wolf whistling them and all that but when it comes down to the nitty-gritty what they're looking for is somebody stable somebody with a JD good heart and that is going to be me and hopefully you as well so is Patty getting full of younger people well yes really is that something to worry about no I don't think so chill chill thanks for watching the video today and thank you to the people down here at the international kite festival it reminds me of when i used to fly my kite in uh, on southport beach oh happy days that's it uh, don't forget there is a members area to this channel please press the join button on this video and join from just two pounds a month you get a wednesday night tie girls play pool exclusively for the members as well as other great perks as well including my own personal vlog and much more and it starts at only two pounds a month it is pay-per-view area but it helps pay for all the equipment and all the software and the music that you get to make these videos it is an expensive game so for me mr egg in a very on a very windy patio beach i'll be seeing you soon Unless I'm too old. See you later, folks. Bye-bye.